Okay, so let's talk about resolutions, right? Because it's 2020, it's a new year. This is the year that is like good vision. You wanna be seeing clearly and doing all those great things. I'm sure you haven't heard that analogy yet. But resolutions, what are they and why do we do them or not do them? So let me tell you about some of the dumbest resolutions I've ever made or failures, if you will. Um, one time I made a resolution to learn the French language. The only thing I can say to this day is we, or yeah, we, I think, I th I think that's it. Uh, failed, totally. Um, another one that I had was to dress in slacks every single day so that I could appear older. Okay, I stopped that one too. Um, another one that I had, seriously, I told myself as a teenager that I was going to work on my jumping every day for an hour until that I could dunk. And that lasted about two days. And I still have not dunked on a 10 foot goal. Eight foot, yes, 10 foot, no. Um, other ones that I've had, uh, I wanted to learn a new word out of the dictionary and memorize it and enhance my vocabulary. That was a good one. Uh, maybe lasted a couple of days, but uh, didn't continue to do that one. That's one that I might put back in and try again. Uh, I've had resolutions to stop drinking caffeine. That has not worked. I still drink caffeine. Um, some resolutions that have gone well is I had a resolution to lose weight and many years ago I lost a lot of weight. I was about 70 pounds heavier than I am now and praise the Lord uh, that resolution worked. Um, I made resolution to read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. I've done that a couple of times and praise the Lord was able to see that one all the way through. Um, made a resolution uh, recently uh, to begin lifting weights and I've been lifting weights consistently for the past couple of years. Uh, so that one's worked out. Uh, made a resolution a few years ago to finally finish writing a book, and I've been able to do two of them. So while I have been successful with a few, uh, I also have had my many failures. Well, the athletic social media company or website, if you will, Strava, actually measured this a few years ago, and they said that they noticed a huge influx in activity because they can measure all this by people using their devices, watches, and all that stuff. They, they noticed a huge measure in activity on January 1st. All these people making resolutions to get back into the gym, to run, whatever. But after just 12 days on January the 12th, which is tomorrow, they noticed a significant drop-off. So in less than two weeks, all of these resolutions, gone. And chances are that by now, if you have made a resolution for 2020, I mean, we're almost to January 12th, statistics show that you have likely already quit. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're a quitter. I'm sorry that I'm a quitter. But here's the thing about resolutions. We can make them anytime. A resolution simply is a firm decision to do something or not do something. That's how the dictionary defines it. And let me tell you about the greatest revolu uh, revolution, resolution that I ever made. The greatest resolution that I ever made was to give my life to Christ. And that seems maybe cliche if you know that I'm a Christian and you know I put some spiritual stuff on this site, but I'm not joking. The best resolution I ever made was to give my life to Christ, begin to follow after him. And here is why. Because all the successful resolutions that I made, by the grace of God, I've been able to see those through. But also I had a lot of accountability, a lot of friends that helped, uh, a lot of people pushing me along the way. Um, I, I, I di it didn't take much other than just a little push to help me with all those. All the ones that I failed on, mainly because I didn't have that push or I, I, I just ignored it. But with Jesus, the beauty is, is that you have Christ in your corner to better your life, to focus your life, to give your life purpose, direction, clarity, 2020 vision, all of that. And even when you get off and you begin to fail at that resolution, Christ is there. He is the shepherd who goes after the one lost sheep and you can be that one lost sheep and he goes and he grabs you and he puts you right back on track because every day I mess up. 
every day I get away from where I'm supposed to be. This morning already, I've had some moments that I'm not proud of, but I'm thankful that Jesus pulls me back, convicts me, shapes me, directs me, does all those things so that I don't get off his course. Now, my encouragement to you is hopefully, maybe you're already discouraged because you've quit your resolutions. Um, hang in there, get some accountability. But if you haven't made the most important decision, the most important resolution, that is giving your life to Christ, I encourage you today to understand and know that Jesus died so that you can have life, life with him, communion with the Father, turn your life to him, and begin living with a purpose. It's never too late. Regardless if you're five years old or you're 85 years old, it's never too late. And so my prayer for 2020 is that you would have a great one, but that it would be filled with Jesus because he is the best resolution that you could ever make. And uh, I don't think he minds if you have a little coffee on the side. Happy 2020, everybody. I'll talk to you later.